This is Mr. Masonette, and today we are going to practice figuring out how many ways you can combine part of a total number of given objects. This problem wants us to figure out how many ways can we combine three letters from the word math. To do this, we are going to use something called the NCR function. The NCR function has two variables inside the equation, the letter N and the letter R. The N stands for how many total objects do you have to choose from, and R stands for how many objects are you combining from the total at one time. Well, in the problem, we have a total of four objects, and we want to combine three of those objects. Now that we know the values of N and R, we can substitute those inside of our equation. So this N here in the numerator is going to be 4, and we have to figure out what 4 factorial is. For the denominator, we have to plug the value 3 in for R because we are selecting three objects. So that's going to be 3 factorial. And take away R is going to be 4 minus 3 in our case. And we have to take that difference and find the factorial of it. So let's figure out what that's going to be. So we want to, from four objects, figure out how many ways we can combine three. We're going to start with our numerator, four factorial. The factorial is just taking a number and figuring out what the product would be by multiplying every number below it going to the number one. So four factorial is the same thing as four times three times two times one. And for the denominator, we are going to have to write three factorial in expanded form. That would be three times two times one. Next, we subtract what's inside the parentheses, which is four minus three. That's a difference of one. And then we would do one factorial, but one factorial is just one, and it's unnecessary to write that in this case. After you have written everything in expanded form, the next thing I would do is look for any cancellation. Remember, anything divided by itself is one. And if you notice, we have a three on the top and the bottom, so those would cancel out to be 1, as well as these 2's and these 1's. So after cancellation, notice we only have a value of 4 left on the top. So that would be our answer. We would say there are 4 ways we can combine 3 of those 4 letters. So that's how you would use an NCR function. Now let's just do a slightly quicker way of the NCR function. If you know how many total objects you have, you can just write that number, which is 4, and then what you do is you start writing that factorial. But you only do a certain part of your factorial. And figure out how much of that factorial you would do is by doing this. If you are choosing three elements from the total, only go backwards the first three numbers in your factorial. Because we're selecting three objects, or three letters, from the total of 4, Start with the total, which is four letters, but only do the first three positions in your factorial. In this case, four times three times two. Let's say you were just selecting two numbers um, out of the four. You would just do four times three, or the first two positions in your factorial. The next thing that you do is, for your denominator, just write how many things you are selecting. Now, we are selecting three objects. Once you have written that, write the entire factorial going all the way to the number 1. And you can stop right there. Um, you don't have to plug anything else in. Just solve for what you have right there. So we're going to cancel out the 3's, and we're going to cancel out the 2's. And for the numerator, we have a value of 4. For the denominator, we just have a 1 left over, and 4 divided by 1 is 4. So by using this method, we still came up with the same answer. There are four ways you can combine three of the four letters in the word math. In this problem, we want to figure out how many ways can we make groups of five students from a total of 15 students. To solve this problem, we have to use the NCR function because we are grouping together some of a total number of elements. The first thing that we want to do is figure out how many elements do we have to choose from altogether? In this case, we have 15 students. So when you have determined the total number of objects or things you have to choose from, start by writing a factorial of that number. And remember, a factorial is just starting with a number and multiplying everything under it until you hit the number one. 
But when you are combining sum of a total number of elements, only write part of that factorial. And to figure out how many you want to go backwards, just look and see how many things you are choosing from the total. Because we are choosing five elements, only go backwards the first five positions in your factorial. So we are going to multiply 15 times 14 times 13 times 12 times 11. And we're going to stop right there. The next thing that we are going to do on the bottom is write how many objects we are combining at one time. In this case, we are combining five students at a time. And what you want to do is write the entire factorial of that number. So 5 factorial is 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Now, when you are doing NCR problems, you should remember that your answer is always going to be a whole number. For example, there's only like maybe two ways to combine something or five ways to combine something. You can't combine something half of a time or three-fourths of a time. So with that being said, that means the entire denominator should be able to cancel out. So let's cancel out the 5 and the 15. 5 can go inside itself once, of course, and 5 can be divided into 15 three times. 4 can be canceled out with the 12. 4 goes inside itself once, and 4 goes inside 12 three times. Well, we have a 3 right here, and we also have a 3 from our previous step of cancellation. So we can cancel this 3 out with this 3, and they both become 1's. And now we have to cancel out this 2 with an even number. And the only even number left for the numerator is 14. 2 is divided in itself once, of course. And 2 goes into 14 seven times. So notice that we were able to cancel everything out um, from our denominator to the number 1, which leaves us with only numbers on the top to multiply. And that's going to be our answer. So let's multiply 3 times 7. That's going to be 21. Next, we have 13 times 1 times 11. 13 times 1 times 11 is 143. Next, we have to multiply 143 by 21. And that will give us how many ways we can make groups of five students from a total of 15 students. Well, 1 times 143 is 143. 2 times 3 is 6. 2 times 14 is 28. And that would give us a total of 3,003 ways. So we would say that we can create groups of five students from a total of 15 students 3,003 ways. And that is another example of how to use the NCR function.